If you want to do something in your life that is significant, remove the people that talk fear around from your life. The reason why is that fear is very contagious. Fear can be transferred. As a matter of fact, many of you don't know it. If you're afraid, you probably got it from your father, your mother, your auntie, your brother, your husband, your wife. There's always someone that transmits fear to you. So the question is that if you want to move ahead and do daring things in life, you must be able to put away people that talk fear out of your life. If you keep having people that talk fear into your life, you will not be able to do big things. Fear is the biggest reason why people don't enter the promised land. Or fear is the biggest reason why people do not achieve great things. They don't either achieve great things or they don't attempt great things. Why? Fear makes you settle for less. Fear makes you settle for less. There are many of you that there are this kind of project you want to do. But the moment you begin to nurture fear, you'll be like, you know what? Even, even this one is okay. And let me tell you something. Fear makes you... I remember this accurately. I remember when I was going to get admission into... You know, and th- let me... <laughs> this is a very lovely story. When I was going to get admission to university, you all know how everybody struggles in the olden days when there was no private university. Everybody really struggles. And what happened was that I'd gotten an admission and, you know, this and this, but it didn't go well. And eventually, I got admission in the polytechnic. And, um, you know... And in fact, it was not just a polytechnic, I think a university of polytechnic, I got an admission to study teaching. You know, so it was, I studied accountancy, I'm an accountant by training, but I got admission to study accounting education. I remember going to tell my father, I said, father, dad, I got an admission. And he said, and he asked me, and I said, it's still accounting. But my father is very intelligent. He said, what would they give you when you finish? Is it, is it BSc accounting? I said, no, 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 it will be BSc education. But my father said, but you never wanted to become a teacher. Why are you settling down? Back then, I thought he had something against me. But what he was doing was that he was challenging me. That don't let the fear you will not get admission make you settle down. Go for it. The question today is this. What have you settled for because of fear? Some of you have settled for a certain kind of lifestyle because of fear. You have settled for a certain kind of business because of fear. You have settled for a certain kind of marriage because of fear. The biggest reason why people don't do do extraordinary things in life is fear. I said the reason why they don't enter the promised land. So what is the promised land? The promised land is the place of the fulfillment of the word that God has given you. This is very powerful. This is very powerful. You must remember this. Fear is the enemy of faith. You can be in faith and be in fear at the same time. If you are in faith, then you are not in fear. If you are in fear, you are not in faith. Let me give you the second thing that what fear is. Fear paralyzes imagination. Fear does what paralyzes imagination. Fear won't allow you to see a way out. When you hear people say, I can't do it, there is no way out, I can't figure it out, let me tell you something, behind that statement is fear. One time a lady came to me and she began to tell me how she knows she will never marry, how she knows she will never do well in life. As she was explaining to me, you know, I could tell that there was fear in it, but she couldn't see it. She didn't realize that those perspectives of, I can't do this. There is no way out. I can't get married. I can't get the capital. It's fear. And the fear was based on bad experiences that she had had and what was told her. As a matter of fact, let me give you a good example. When anybody tells you that I've tried everything, you know what you do for them? Let me tell you to them. Praise God. When you meet someone that is convinced nothing will work and says, I've tried everything, this is what you should do for them. Give them a pile and paper and say, number one, list it. Number two, list it. Number three, list it. Hardly will any of them list more than five. And they will tell you they've tried everything. It's not as if they tried everything, but fear amplifies this negative experience. So there's a projection because fear breeds negative experience. It breeds it. There's a projection that I've done those five things and this happened in the past, this will happen in the future. And the truth is that the past is never equal to the future, except you live in the past. So you say that ah, business never works. I say, I've done all businesses. Is it true? What have you done? You've done tailoring. What have you done? You've done A, B, and B. What have you done? And that's it. How can you conclude based on two things that you've done everything? You say, ah, 
All the men I've dated are irresponsible. How many men have you dated? You've just dated three. Even Mary in the Bible had six husbands. You have seniors. Glory to God. Ah, all the while I've been going to wine press, wine press, nothing has happened. How many wine press have you gone? So what fear does is this. Fear paralyzes imagination. This is very powerful. And when fear paralyzes imagination, guess the next day, but look up here. Fear will make you not to be able to see the spiritual resource you have to get out of the state you are in. Fear will not allow you. Let me say this again. Fear paralyzes imagination. So when your imagination is paralyzed, you will not see a way out. The consistent thing you will say is that I can't. There is no way out. No one wants to help me. This is not working. And the reason why is that fear will not allow you to see the spiritual resources you have to get you out of the, you know, the fix, the stuck, the stagnated state you are in. This is very powerful. Look at the case of Gehazi. Gehazi, when they came to attack Elisha, Elisha did have fear. Elisha saw the angels around them. The reason why was this. There was no fear in his heart. There was faith. But Gehazi could not see it because there was what fear. The fear Gehazi had did not allow him to see the spiritual resources around them. So if you start not seeing fear in your heart, you will only be seeing impossibilities. You will not see possibilities. You will not see the fact that you can actually get a job. You will not see the fact that you can actually do well in your country. You will not see the fact that you can actually do better your marriage you will not see the fact that this can be your year of the quantum leap your reason why is that you're just continually living in fear glory to god hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 and second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 this will be my last few scriptures and i will close oh glory to god hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 not 12 hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 oh glory to god second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 Hebrews chapter 2 in verse 14. See what the Bible says here. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself took part of the same that he may destroy him that had the, watch what it says, that he may destroy him that had, had in the past, had in the past, the power of death that is the devil. Verse 15 now, verse 15, just one more verse. And deliver, let's read together, I want to go. And deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lives subject to bondage. So the reason why they were in bondage was not because they were bound. The reason why they were in bondage was because of the fear. Could it be why your marriage status is in bondage? Why you're not married? Why your business is tied down? It's not because of the devil. It's because of the fear that's grabbed your heart. You keep blaming the devil, but the truth is that, honey, you're really afraid. The reason why you're not dated is that you're really afraid of a heartbreak and unfortunately whatever you fear comes to you the reason why you're really poor is because you are afraid you will be poor so you never do any step you never take any step to improve your finance you never invest you never save you never do a business because you're afraid you will lose the money and you keep blaming the devil. I understand the devil can be useless but this is not the devil fear has gotten a hold on you you're single looking for someone to marry. Someone says hi to you. And you build up this strong defense. Have you asked yourself why you bring up this strong defense? Because of fear. Because in your mind, someone has come to hurt me. Glory to God. See Second Timothy. And this very powerful chapter 1 verse 7. Oh, this is very good. Oh, someone say hallelujah. Someone say I refuse to fear. Say all fears are gone. See what the Bible says? It says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. Oh, glory to God. M maybe you're trying to start a business and you're holding back. Listen, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Maybe you're about to start a, a tech startup. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Maybe you're about to enter a relationship. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Maybe you're afraid of the future. God has not given us the spirit of fear. What do you do when you're afraid? Every time you're afraid, you need the word. Why do you need the word? Because faith comes by hearing the word of God.